Good morning from the side of the road. Uh, I am at the west side of town. Uh, the town is uh, Sisters, Oregon. I got my uh, oatmeal warming up. Still got to clean up a little bit back there. Got to put my clothes away. Uh, I'm going to head into town and get a, a cup of coffee. Keeping with Oregon's drive through coffee tradition, the only thing I've seen so far is uh, three drive through coffee shops. So, I'm on the hunt. <laughs> That's about the closest thing to a coffee shop I could find. It looks like a good place, but I, you know, want to keep on a tighter budget. And I got oatmeal right here, perfectly good oatmeal. So, I could not find a coffee shop to save my life. Um, there's cafes, that's about it. Um, so, on that note, uh, I think I'll just pull over, do some edits uh, in, here in town, um, and hit the road shortly after. I stand corrected. There's a place called Sisters Coffee Company, which looks amazing, uh, both outside and I saw some pictures of the inside, it looks cool too. So I'm gonna do some work here for a bit. All right, so, uh, past two to three hours, edited two videos. I feel very accomplished. Um, where are my keys? Oh, here they are. I need my wallet. Uh, I also, let's see, I scheduled two videos, edited two videos. Yeah, now I'm gonna go here, because my friend T Tara, the food pervert, told me, she's actually from this town, told me this is the most amazing place to get a sandwich, and I'm freaking hungry, and I'm too caffeinated. I'm excited. All right, sandwich and toe, we're gonna head towards uh, a waterfall. Oh, by the way, if anybody uh, has an RV or school bus or anything like that, west of Sisters, just a few miles, there's all this land, and this is uh, National Forest land. There's a bunch of little roads out here, and you can just drive down any road and park overnight. Um, free camping, basically. It's all called boondocking. All right, uh, just pulled over on the side of the road. I got my sandwich, and I got a killer view of Mount Washington over there. And I was just thinking to myself, what a perfect place to take a rooftop picnic. So, baked beans, we got some chips, and we got a sandwich. And it looks like we got some uh, coleslaw. All right, I'm ready to eat. By the way, that meat store makes their own uh, salamis and cured meats and stuff. So I figured I should probably go with that. Whoa, look at that. That is a good amount of uh, salami or pastrami. I forget which one it was. on a brioche bun. Mm. It's one of the best sandwiches I've had in a very, very long time.
adventure boots are engaged. Um, I'm at the Sahali Falls. Uh, looks like <laughs> if I was here, you know, a week or two ago, it w I just would have been covered in snow. It's still like pretty, pretty deep snow, as you can see. Um, this was uh, recommend. Whoa! Recommended <laughs> by, by uh, Tara, the food pervert, my friend, and uh, she said it was a, a must see. So, there I am. I almost just fell right there. <laughs> Even with boots on, whoa, that's deep. Even with boots on, it's uh, quite slippery. Holy cow! <laughs> that is a waterfall. I'm gonna have to come back with a uh, uh, ND filter, neutral density filter, for the big camera, because it'll make it look all like like a painting. You'll see. Just go to my Instagram. And you'll, you'll you'll see what I'm talking about. But check this baby out. That is impressive. Not only impressive, that looks absolutely freezing. Quite, <laughs> quite a bit colder than uh, the river I was surfing yesterday. So, wow, it's just so impressive. It sounds like thunder or like a freight train. So here's a couple fun facts. This area has a ton of uh, uh, lava rocks. And so from the different flows, different time periods of the flows, created the different uh, falls. So this is a whole different layer of uh, volcanic rock. Down there, there's another one, and I believe a little bit further down is a third. <laughs> On the drive here, I did notice a huge lava field to my left when I was going downhill. Uh, there wasn't a place to safe place to pull over and check it out. So I cruised on through. But it makes perfect sense that the lava is the reason for the waterfalls. All right, back inside uh, Dan the Adventure Bus. It looks like we're gonna go back to the chlorinated hot springs called Belknap um, so I can take a shower. Because <laughs> I'm not really sure where to shower if I head towards uh, Oregon State University where I need to be tomorrow, so. Got to be nice and fresh for those uh, youngsters, so they can, so I can teach them a thing or two. <laughs> but here's the update. Um, I changed into my public hot springs outfit. I also have this handy dandy bottle of Dr. Bronner's. Dr. Bronner's is eco-friendly and awesome. I highly recommend it. Uh, I'm thinking not to bring the GoPro in, but maybe I should. I should probably get in the habit of taking you guys with me into these hot springs. Because I, I think if someone commented like, hey, I watched the whole video and you didn't even show the hot springs. Well, sorry, I was naked. And uh, also the one hot springs, um, was there was naked people in it, not just me. It's like, it's like I can't like film other people and put on YouTube. <laughs> um, so sorry about that, but uh, yeah, I was I was the only one with clothes on uh, in that uh, that time. Um, uh, yeah, it was raining too, and I, I don't want to, you know, I'm sure you guys understand. I don't want to ruin my camera just for the sake of getting a shot. Uh, so I will bring my GoPro. How about them potatoes? Here is the uh, less than glamorous reality of uh, Jacks Across America. Tonight's home is a rest stop. 
Uh, could have uh, slept next to the river. However, I wanted to get kind of close to uh, Corvallis and uh, this is a pretty uh, safe bet when you're on the road. You can sleep here overnight. Uh, there's a bathroom and uh, hopefully it's not too noisy with all these trucks. So I'll see you guys tomorrow when I go and speak to uh, a marketing class at Oregon State University in Corvallis. So um, <laughs> I have no idea what I'm going to say, but I hope it's going to be good. Yeah.